Guys, your linchpin questions help you to differentiate yourself. Like I said, think about how did we start? How did we add value? What is our unique selling proposition or what is your value proposition? In other words, what makes your, your product, your service, your organization, you different and special? And now we're looking to take that information, what makes you unique and special, and we're looking to create questions that are going to help you to differentiate yourself in your customers' minds. It's going to help your customer to compare your competitor to, to you and what makes you and your organization exceptional. All right? Help people to see things from your perspective. In other words, you understand the value. We've gone and we've done the work. We know how to add value to our customers. We've done the work. We know how we add value. We're consistently innovating and creating. We know what that is. That's a differential advantage. We know what our unique selling proposition is. We know what our value proposition is. Using that and creating effective questions in our mind of our customers we are able to differentiate ourselves. In other words, we are able to stand out from our competitors. We are showing them that there's stuff in our wicker basket that is completely different to your current wicker basket supplier. And therefore, price is no longer an issue because you're not getting a wicker basket, you're getting a wicker basket and all these other benefits. All right, and that's what we're looking to do. And that's why we built the process from adding value Unique selling proposition or what is your um, organizational value proposition and now we say how do we create questions to utilize those two advantages or should I rather say to highlight those advantages to you in a way that you see what makes us or you see that our wicker basket is better than your current wicker basket supply. That's what we're ultimately looking to do with these questions. Prospects convince themselves about the value you offer. I mean, what I said to you, how do we start developing linchpin questions? Well, we start off by asking the question, what is it that makes us, our product, unique and special? The next question you want to ask is, is if that's what makes us unique and special, let me create questions that makes the customer start to explore their current supplier. Their current supplier doesn't have a business intelligence tool. Their current supplier doesn't have a BE rating of 2. Their current supplier doesn't have a SWAT machine, right? So create questions around that so you start, because you can never criticize your competitor, but you can say, you could put a question like, how important would it be for you to be able to know exactly where you're spending money, how you're spending money at your fingertips? What do you mean? Well, now that you ask, okay, immediately you are putting a question into your customer's mind that they are going to rip your, your competitor to pieces in their own mind. They don't have a SWAT machine, they don't, they're not South African, no, they're not managed by, by South African leadership, they don't have a SWAT machine, they don't have a business intelligence tool, they don't have a BE rating of two, can, can you see where this is going? Your, 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 your customers are sitting there going, your competitors suck. But you didn't tell them, right? Not at all. They're doing it for themselves. How powerful? Who do they trust the most in the room? Themselves. Man, they questioning the competitor, not you. If you did it, they would they would look at you and go like, oh, who are you, idiot? But they sit in there going, oh, this current supply sucks. <laughs> right? <laughs> I planned it that way. <laughs> okay, with my questions. That's exactly what I'm busy doing with linchpin questions, right? <laughs> 